when unnamed Dick said it was more toxic for new players to even try joining an experienced group of players because obviously wanting to learn from those you consider the best is now toxic. Am I right? No, of course not. And fuck that guy. How's it going, Maurice? Like, I'm Myth, the latter fellow honestly believes Tataru has more main character energy than the entirety of the remaining signs combined. Trust me, I'll die on that hill. And today I wanted to talk add ons. But before you pull out your pitchforks, katanas, and cheesy Dorito figures, hear me out. You see, I've been told by absolutely for sure definitely genuine people, not at all just defending the fact they're cheating in a video game, that I'm trash. Because I put punchlines and jokes in my videos, and my tone is too aggressive, which isn't a very genuine thing to do. Heavens, I've even been called toxically casual. So today I've hired a new caption coordinator, producer, and emotional feedback technician Eric to assist me in making my first wholesome video with a positive message and almost no joke. Oh come on I'm British you think I'm gonna make it through an entire video about taking the piss out of at least one person? Say hi Eric. Alright Eric give me some soft. <laughs> not that soft I'm pandering not trying to fucking kill myself. <laughs> Dynamis. Nice. Alright put on your reading glasses because I get frequent complaints about my talking speed and to that I say you're about to watch a 10 minute video in 5 minutes. Firstly, I'm going to say the loud part out loud, because apparently that was missed last time by the pro gamers, and if you don't stroke their feelings within the first 30 seconds, they'll leave and just lie about the entire video. I don't care what the add-ons you use. Never did. If we clearly talk together, we'd still most likely take off our shirts and kiss. That's just the kind of lad that I am. No homo. I'm not the add-on police, and if you feel you need them, I'll power to you. Certain add-ons can be incredibly useful as tools for self-improvement. I never disputed that, never would. I played Warcraft for 16 years, you needed 30 add-ons just to log on. My issue with add-ons and Final Fantasy is how they justify, how they are applied, and what they prevent. I'd like to talk about each one of those individually, in hopes I can rebuild some bridges with those who burned them when I did that stupid thing where I hold the truth, I guess. I don't know. For those about to hear me out, thank you. And for those still stuck on the cheesy Dorito fingers, at least make the hate posts about me funny. God, what's the lot of I gotta do to get fucking memed in 2024? That was justification. One of the most predatory an excuse is used to justify cheating in Final Fantasy XIV is the assertion that add-ons merely enhance the game and experience without providing an unfair advantage. However, this argument fails to acknowledge the fundamental principle that all players should compete on an equal playing field where possible. I say where possible because about half the hardcore gamers who stuck around are now screaming but some people have better pick. My, my, that man is almost entirely made out of straw, isn't he? Add-ons that grant undue advantages, such as automating complex mechanics or providing access to privileged information, distort this balance and undermine the integrity of the game. In essence, by using such add-ons, players are not playing the same game as those who adhere to the rules and constraints. Furthermore, some individuals attempt to justify cheating by citing the perceived inadequacies or flaws in the game's design. Lazily written justifications like, I'm just playing optimally, fall apart at the slightest scrutiny. I mean really, I could rob a bank to optimise my cash flow. Will I be richer? Sure. But I still robbed a bank. Claiming add-ons are just helping you optimise is logically the same thing. We've all heard that. But Final Fantasy XIV is unplayable without insert your favourite add-on here. It's core, cool, and you know it's core. Cool. If you airdrop the rationalisation from Final Fantasy XIV into any other game, it falls apart. If you joined the two players still playing PUBG in 2024 and used an add-on to show you the zones ahead of time, you could call me a cheater, but Catbot exists in Final Fantasy XIV and it's fine. If I use a tool in COD that allowed me to effectively fire while throwing a grenade and using my killstreak simultaneously, you call me a cheater. But in Final Fantasy XIV, Alexander is fine. I know you're crying, but that's PvP. I hear you cheat. The point is, when you're making passes a requirement and judging people via the passes, you are essentially creating a PvPS competition, to which you have an advantage. I sympathise with those whose ping is higher than your average Amber Heard fan, but there are options that reduce your ping that don't interface with the game file. Exit lag comes to mind, but of course it's a less popular option. Less because more people have lag, and more because Alexander comes with some additional unintended benefits that are often too good to pass up that naturally I won't promote it. Please stop pushing this deliberately misleading narrative that you need add-ons in the game for any reason. You don't. It's core. Cool. Now an application. I completely agree that some add-ons from a gameplay standpoint are worse than others but all come with a tangible benefit over your average console's stock player. There are people who argue this isn't the case and to that I say Stop the cap. You wouldn't install something and risk your account if there was no intended net benefit. Are we really lying about basic human nature now? Whilst I completely agree something like ACT is significantly less egregious than say CACBOT rotation bots in terms of gameplay, I'd argue that other practices ACT influences are much worse for the game. It hurts me to say this, but rarely now was a DPS meter used to help others. No, live DPS tracking nowadays means the lazier option is significantly more sexy. Why try to figure out what this guy is doing wrong when we can just boot him and invite the next guy, creating an unholy game of natural selection where the experienced players get more experience, and those new or less experienced or lacking the kind of coaching sometimes necessary for Savage Content Plus were kept out and quit. I know there are still good people out there who are using these tools for good. I'm not denying these exist, but they are vastly outnumbered by those whose personality is their passive. Hell, you can see this in my most recent comments. When unnamed Dick said it was more toxic for new players to even try joining an experienced group of players because obviously wanting to learn from those you consider the best is now toxic. Am I right? No, of course not. And fuck that guy. And subscribe if you agree.
Another consequence of add-on proliferation is the potential stifling of creative and problem solving. The prevalence of add-ons may deter players from exploring alternative approaches or experimenting with unconventional strategies. Instead of relying on their ingenuity and teamwork, players may default to predetermined scripts and optimizations dictated by add-ons, stifling innovation and limiting the diversity of gameplay experiences. It was hard to write this next part without a roast, but I want to point out the same people using all of these optimizing add-ons are the same people complaining the game's too easy now. Make it make sense. Ultimately, the point of this video is a positive one, with more edges than a half-melted big razor the emo kid is hiding from his parents. Add-ons are about as divisive as you can get before becoming a fucking fraction. To the hardcore players and those pro add-on, I hear you, but please don't force your beliefs and self-administered crutches on others. Understand that dependence on add-ons inhibits your growth as a player and sympathize with the wave of new players. Teach them. Every single new player is a future static member with the right guidance. People learn at different rates. Have patience and maybe think twice before you boot the next person for low DPS. To the new player, you don't need add-ons to play the game. You understand you've had that pressed on you at this point. And hell, if you came from WoW like me, maybe it's a habit. A ghost of a requirement still stable to your back like you're a post-initiation freshman. Resist it. Add-ons are a great short-term aid, but a bad long-term habit that will prevent your own organic growth in this game. Remember, they're selling you a dependence that could get you caught and back. It's not worth it. It's not needed. Find the right crowd early and flourish with them. That's enough fucking wholesome. I'm bored. What do you think? Did I succeed in empathizing? Did I articulate my stance well with respect to either side? Let me know in the comments down below. Hit that subscribe button to show me that sweet, sweet support I yearn for. And click this for a massive tonal shift away from the mushy, soothing center of this video to my usual brutal comedy. That's a guarantee.